So the next heading would be alkalosis and its causes. And I'm just have a, like two to note here. So uh, first of all, there's um, I'll use a blue pen. Yes. If I'm going to start over here, if the partial pressure of carbon dioxide goes down in the blood, uh, what might be a cause of that to actually not have enough carbon dioxide? Well, if somebody is breathing too fast, hyperventilation it usually occurs when someone is really revved up about something and they're not actually producing a lot of carbon dioxide. So let's say that you go on a run and you're really revved up about it. Well, yeah, you're breathing hard, but you're producing more carbon dioxide, so it's okay that you're blowing a lot off. If you're just sitting in a chair and you're breathing really fast and hard because you're nervous, then you could actually reduce the amount of carbon dioxide in your blood to the point where your blood becomes alkaline. And then as anyone that's had that happen knows, they start to feel very lightheaded as their brain starts to sense the low PaCO2 and um, then there are effects from there to cause you to stop breathing so fast. Okay, so that would be respiratory alkalosis. So respiratory alkalosis, again, is an issue with the lungs, just like respiratory acidosis was. But now, instead of not working well enough, they're doing too much. Okay, then why don't we use one more color and look at a way that instead of having too much hydrogen in the blood as we did in the acidosis situation, what if there is not enough hydrogen ions in the blood? Oops. And the main cause of that that we might see um, clinically is vomiting. So vomiting, the patient's going to be losing a stomach acid. And if it continues for long enough, they could actually have, be a little bit low on hydrogen ions in the body and uh, have metabolic acidosis, or sorry, alkalosis. Okay, that was it for that tiny little page.